What's going on guys? So today, or I guess yesterday, my window again stopped working on my BMW 335i. It was the uh, driver's side passenger window. And I had issues with it first, like maybe two months ago, three months ago. Maybe longer than that, maybe like five. So I, I fixed the regulator because I figured that was the issue, right? It wouldn't go up, blah, blah, blah. It wouldn't go up like that. So I went and got a regulator, fixed it, and it worked fine. <clears throat> I never roll my windows down in the back, really rarely, like maybe once a month, if that on accident usually. So this particular time on my key, uh, it rolls my windows up and down. I don't know. I guess that's a programming thing. I don't know. When I got the car, it did that. So I, I personally didn't know that that was a programming thing. But so I guess I held down the unlock button so that the windows would go down and they all went down. I wasn't even thinking about it because my window had worked fine ever since. So every window goes down. I get in the car. I drive to where I'm going. And then when I get to where I'm going, I turn the windows up and every single window works except for the rear window, right? So I'm like, dude, what the heck? So what the window was doing, it was just like when I hit the button, it would go and it would go down, back up, down every time you hit the button, right? So I was like, well, maybe the window regulator is bad, whatever. So I ended up taking off the, the door panel and all the pieces once I got home and everything looked good. Like there, it didn't look that there was any issues. Like the cord was still tight. Everything was good. So I read that um, a lot of times these windows have like little issues where it won't work. But if you let the car go to sleep then wake it back up it'll work so basically what that means is you'll leave your window down for about i would say it says 16 minutes but i'd wait 20 minutes uh leave your window down for 20 minutes hopefully it's not raining and you or you have a garage or something but if it doesn't then either way um so you leave it down for 20 minutes and you let your car shut off and go to sleep basically and then you wake it back up and you give it a second I actually didn't start it or anything. I just got in the car. I put my keys in and I tried to roll it up. It didn't work. So I was like pissed because I was like, well, I thought that was going to work. And then a few seconds later, I clicked the button and all the windows rolled up. So I'm thinking it would have worked either way. So this is just a quick little video. Like before you go, go buy a window regulator, pull the panel off, all that stuff. Try this first and then... I don't know what the next step is if it's like a continuing issue that's going to happen all the time or it means your regulator is about to go out. But I just know that if you're in a crunch and you really don't either have the money or the time or whatever to fix it right away, um, as long as your window regulator isn't completely broken, this will work for you. Uh, so I hope I can save you guys some money and some time. And yeah, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Go subscribe and comment down below if this works for you just so I can know if it's for every single BMW and it wasn't just like a weird case for mine. Uh, but yeah, guys, have a good day. Peace.